Well, thanks, guys. We are going to get this party started under the lights here tonight. This is the Chipotle Ski Knuckle Hug. But I have to say, before we get this thing started, it has been over a decade since I've heard those words coming from your mouth. So, Salema, I just want to say, welcome back to the X Games, my friend. You have been missed, and it's good to have you back. Well, I cannot do this without my partner in crime, so we welcome you in the booth here at the Chipotle Ski Knuckle Hug. I'm Jimmy Coleman, that's Tom Wallace, and we'll just get right to it, Tom. In the four prior times we've contested this at X Games, there's been four different winners. And it is gonna be unique tonight. It could be a new winner, or could it be a star like Henrik Harlow? No one else in the world can utilize the tips and tails of their skis to butter, spin, do unique tricks like Henrik Harlow. So excited to see if he can bring another gold, or will it be Quinn Wooferman, 2022 Ski Knuckle Hut gold medalist with that unique flavor, and of course, the double corks off the knuckle, or somebody new. There's too much variety, too much creativity in this sport that it's anybody's game in this one-of-a-kind X Games event. So that's just a little flashback to our last two winners of this event. Let's take a look at the start list here. Chipotle Ski Knuckle Hug here at X Games Aspen 2023. All four of our medalists from this in the past, gold medalists from this in the past, are here in the lineup. But basically, it's a 20-minute jam session, and it is all about expression and just having fun out here tonight, Tom. Yeah, having fun, but also, like X Games events, there's progression involved. The knuckle might be fun, might be creative, but we're gonna see some big rotations, unique variety, and absolutely jaw-dropping tricks. We started off with an X Games rookie from Finland. This is a Yuna Kungus. Yuna, nose buttering across that entire flat section. If you haven't had the opportunity, please go watch some of this man's videos on the internet. Look he is so smooth and stylish. It is hard to describe how difficult it is to press those skis across that knuckle for that long with no flailing, no bobbling, just absolutely calm and collected. Coming in hot right now, one of those four prior winners. This is Park City, Utah's Colby Stevenson. Oh, Colby Stevenson going huge. This is the knuckle of the big air jump, and they are landing so far down that landing. Normally when you do a knuckle hug at your local resort, you're gonna, you know, butter, spin, cork off the knuckle, try to catch some of that transition. Here, Colby Stevenson, look at those blue lines to designate the landing, to help the athlete spot the landing. He's going past. The landing is limitless on a knuckle this size. So if you're watching this and you're wondering, hey, how come we're not seeing any scores? We don't do that in this event. It's basically, we throw down the whole 20 minute jam session and it's just a big reveal at the end with the winner as we welcome in Austria's Matei sponsor for his first hit. Matei with the in-air pretzel. Matei has got to be one of my favorite athletes to watch this day and age in free skiing because of tricks like this. So creative, just absolutely laid out, then uses his arms to bring his feet back in a pretzel-like maneuver and the landings. Look, look how far he goes down the land. That's insane right there. This is rapid fire. Casually just, it's like he just rolled himself up like a burrito there, Tom. It really is. I mean, queso included, no extra charge on that one. Here we go with Sweden's Jesper Shatter right now. Coming in, switch here on his first attempt. Oh my goodness! The switch, double backflip, massive. Just sending it down the landing. He almost sent that thing to the parking lot here at the end of Aspen. Look at this. Just so well popped. And look at this. I mean, he's already traveling so far down the landing. Jesper is a crowd favorite for huge tricks like that. Just popping off the end of the knuckle and going huge. Comes around completely blind and just puts the landing gear down. That just hurt my lower lumbar watching that. Did you see how scorpioned out he was on that? Oh my goodness. Alex Hackle, no stranger to the X Games, but this is actually his first onside appearance. He competed in two real ski events in 2020 and 21. Oh, Alex Hall, or Alex Hackle, I'm not sure if it opens up over there or not, because he was running and gunning for that netting, but 
Alex Hackle, if you've seen him hit urban rails, one of the best urban rail skiers in the entire world, and just showing that nose butter, Cork 1080 oh. there, just kind of holds onto it, and here's where he gets close to the fencing. How in the world did he hang on to that? Well, I mentioned those two real ski events. He got a bronze in 2020 and a silver in 2021, by the way. But here comes the master of style. This is Sweden's Henrik Harlow. Oh, double oh, no. corking. Henrik Harlow is one of the first people to ever do that maneuver, going for the nose butter double cork 1080. Did it off a knuckle years and years ago. And he's nursing a broken thumb right now, can't hold the poles, and just still absolutely loves this event so much he's out to play. Alex Hall coming in hot. He got the gold in 2020 in Norway, sending it deep here as we hit the 16-minute mark. Remember, it's a 20-minute jam session here at Chipotle Ski Knuckle Huck. I love this, buttering around, sort of Tokyo drifting around on that knuckle that dives forward into that misty. I think we might need to hire a chiropractor on site for the amount of high impact, far down the landing things I'm we're seeing. Telling you, I'm about to text somebody and have a sense of I can broke into the booth because this hurts to watch with some of these spins right now. Looking at your defending winner in this event, Quinn Wolferman. Oh, so smooth. Really creative with the use of the tail butter. You see a lot of athletes pushing onto the nose or tail and just popping off it. Look how he rides on those tails, digs in the edges, and then goes for that sort of switch over flip out. It's just so hard to stay just on the tails, not catch an edge, not slow down, to be able to press and butter across that whole knuckle. And keep in mind as you're watching this at home too, they're not taking off of a lift. This is the roller of the big air landing that they're doing this on to give you a greater appreciation of what's going on here as we go back to, to the top of the order with Unicongas. So smooth, reaching for the tail grab. And just you see the smile on everybody's face. This is the X Games, but it's also fun. You're competing, yet just sessioning with your friends out there, trying different things, creative things, and skiing so fast, slapping fives with everybody in the crowd. I mean, the vibes are so high. Yeah, it's awesome. Yes, there's some hardware up for grabs, but everyone's just having a good time. And that's part of the fun of this is like, we don't know, there's no rankings, there's no scores. We just find out at the end, the judges talk it over. So we take another look at Colby Stevenson here, and then we just find out it's the big exciting moment at the end when they hand you that hardware and say, hey, guess what? You just won Knuckle Huck. Yeah, and right now, if I was keeping a, a tally in my head of the tricks and, and who's in the lead, it's an all out tie for first. I mean. Colby Stevenson did this trick spinning left, now spinning right. So showing that he's a cop guy. He knows how to play the game, win those slope style events. It's gonna work for him out here in Knuckle Hug. A little bit of variety left and right. We're just under 14 minutes here on our jam session clock. We take a look at run number two here for Matei's sponsor. Oh, Matei. Butter, butter, and then into that spin off the knuckle. And just the way he playfully skis down that landing. This kid is so comfortable on his skis, so fluid, makes it look effortless. Comes around, sticks his feet out. I mean, just the body positioning is so unique to him. Just straight legs that out on that last bit of rotation right there. Another thing to point out as well, we keep talking about how it's the big reveal at the end. It's about the overall impression in the jam session. So you may have one big run, but the judges are looking for overall impression here in this 20 minute jam session. Jesper buttering on the tails, so pushing, loading all of his weight, riding in a wheelie across that, and then popping against it. Against How do you do that from that position? I mean, using it like a pogo stick to create some sort of spring and momentum on that back <laughs> ski, but just insane to get the momentum forward again, he just breaking the laws of physics. Springboarded straight into that. So we're at 12 and a half minutes left to go here. Chipotle Ski Knuckle Hub. This is Alex Hackle for attempt number two. Oh! <laughs> Onto the last dive line, Tom. 
looks so big. Anytime you see these athletes in one of those rotations, the misty or the rodeo where they're diving forward, that's how you get that crazy amount of air. Pops off the noses, hits the tails, and then he's diving forward. So, so much further down that lane, he's open, looking, spotting, I mean, you can't mess that trick up going that big. You're going so far. He's got some serious support out there. You see all those hackle signs down there in the corral? We take it back up to the top here as we are just under the 12 minute mark. Henrik Harlow, he got the win. We showed him from 2021 at the top of the show. Had a little bit of a rough go on that first attempt. Coming in hot here for run at number two. It's sending it. Oh, Henrik Harlow. The best to ever do it out here. One of the most fun athletes to watch. The nose butter double cork 12. Just ginormous, so perfect. Look at this, presses off the noses. The inventor of that trick tucks up. This is a slope style trick that he's just doing off the knuckle of a jump. We mentioned he's a former winner of this event. He has 13 X Games medals overall, eight gold, five silver. He has the most ski medals in X Games history. Here we go with attempt number two for Park City, Utah's Alex Hall. Oh, Alex Hall reaching for the nose grab on that switch butter. I mean, I, I, I'm going to need a break from the term butter. There's so much <laughs> butter going on tonight. We're going to have clogged arteries from all of this pressing and bending and manipulating of the skis. Let's talk about it. How many times can you say butter out here at Chipotle Ski Number One, Mr. I, Wallace? I, I think I've overused the term already. We're going to have to margarine on some of these next ones. You're going to have to keep firing those puns out for another 10 plus minutes here, my friend. You're defending winner in this event, Quinn Wolverman, coming in for his second attempt. Oh, I like that. Using a little combo. So you see a lot of the athletes butter off the true knuckle of the jump, going for two of them. So that first little bit, he's pressing the skis, then bounces, lands, and again into it. Really wrapped up. Looking for that tail grab there. I mean, just rapid fire. This is nonstop, so no scores. We're just keeping tally in our head. Who's doing what? What's most creative? What's impressing the judges in that overall impression format? You don't want to do the similar tricks, but a little bit of everything. I mean, they're definitely in the hot seat down there having these conversations in the heat. The hits keep coming pretty darn fast. We still have more time on that jam session clock. We'll have more for Chipotle Ski Knuckle when we come back to Aspen. Welcome back, everyone, to X Games Aspen 2023. It is a packed house here at Buttermilk as we fire up the lights and get into action for our first of three days of action sports competitions. Right now, let's send it down to the third member of our crew, DC, with a vibe check on the crowd. Oh, and the vibe is live down here, Jimmy Coleman. Shout out to all you beautiful people tuning in from home. Much love and respect. We got beautiful people out here right now that are setting the tone. The future of free ski in the house. And shout out Meg Oldham, she's hanging out as well, setting the tone for this amazing night. Mac Forehand in the house, Ferdy Dahl, so many people from the free ski world. It's amazing out here, guys. I wish you could be out here enjoying it with me, but you guys are sounding beautiful in my ears. Back to you. Oh, thanks for the love there, DC. It is a star-studded cast out there in the friends and family area. This is the Chipotle Ski Knuckle Hug here on day one of three X Games Aspen 2023. We are in the middle of a 20 minute jam session here. We don't have any scores, we don't have any standings. It's just one medal handed out at the end of it all. It's a big reveal at the end. We start off at the top of the world once again with Unicongus sending it deep, Tom. I mean, just speed going every single run. It's like, well, they went pretty big. I guess I'm gonna go a little faster in this one. And here, look at the grab, reaching all the way over for that Cuban. Just so smooth, so stylish, never forcing anything. 
Okay, so Cole Stevenson, he got the win here in 2020. The first time this event was contested on the ski side of things. And there's a great shot right here with the follow cam. Just to give you an idea of how far the trajectory is when they go off of that knuckle. See that follow cam, you see how fast they're going and also the fact it started to snow. The snow is picked up and he's coming flying into this. We saw Henrik Carlo do the nose butter, double cork. Colby Stevens says, says, I've got that trick as well. Is there landing left down there? Did he miss it? He got knucklehawk win in 2020 here and also slope style this year. So he's a two-time X Games gold medalist. And here we go with Austria's Matej's sponsor. He's gonna go to the right of the lip this time around. Oh, double corking again. This is now becoming a he did it, now I gotta do it competition. And that's what's so crazy about this for the judges. It's overall impression. It's how you ride in the entirety of this 20-minute champ session. So those guys have their work cut out for them down in the booth. Look at that. Drags the hand. Hand drag. Double cork seven. I mean, his air awareness, the way Matei can just bend and move his body and get his feet back under him is unlike any athlete I've ever seen. So as we bring back in Jesper and Shatter here, we are hitting the eight-minute mark. Oh, yes, oh, bro. What? Double front flip, Branny. So dives forward on that first front flip. Then on the second front flip rotation, stares at the ground and just twists the hips 180. Look at this right here. Looks, opens up, puts his feet back under him. Just insane to be doing true double flips like this off of a knuckle. I was just going to say, without a lip, but did you see that one arm? I mean, he just cranked himself. That was just pure will right there to get into that spin. My goodness. Working our way towards the seven minute mark here with Alex Hackle back in. Oh, Alex Hackle using both parts of the knuckle, buttering into that cork, just wrapped up like a burrito, extra guacamole, lands it perfectly. As we get set to take another look here at Sweden's Henrik Harlo. The tail butter into that spin, reaching back for the Cuban grab. I mean, Henrik is just so fluid on the skis. You can see how comfortable he is. Nose butter, tail, this, that, the other thing. I mean, there's not a trick, I don't think, in the world of free skiing he can't do. Look at Alex Hall coming in hot right here with a hand drag. Oh, I like the smooth style on that, spinning in one way, then spinning out with the hand drag in the opposite direction, almost getting a little corked on that one, even though it was only kind of that switch 360 off the knuckle, he's corked out, pulling the grab to the side. As we get deeper into this jam session, that snow is really starting to come down, but it doesn't look like it's affected the speed very much here as we've gotten into the latter half of this jam. Yeah, I mean, a little snow, but Luckily, that huge in run for the big air jump, able to just go huge regardless. Quinn Wolferman losing the shoes on that one right there. Just slide that one out the backside, but spring it up right away from that one. And I know Quinn has been itching to get back to this event. Coming off the win last year, he's been so motivated. He was out in the backcountry these last few weeks filming and was just so focused on coming to X Games, trying to repeat, putting down some tricks for this huge crowd to show off what he can do. Look at this crowd right now. I mean, it's been a couple of years since we've had this kind of feel out here. Last year was the first year that we had fans back out here on the mountain, and it's, just, it's a completely different energy here in 2023. I mean, what a great way to kick off the weekend here. Exactly, and I think the crowd is half the reason. You see, I mean, you stand at the top of one of these in runs, you see that crowd cheering, you're not speed checking, you're not letting up on the aggressive play call, you're going for a big trick, something fun, something huge, because it's just infectious, that energy. Well, as we go back up to the top of the order, you saw that graphic there on your left side of your screen. We talked about four different winners at four different events. Uh, they're all in this event here today, as well as Alex Hall competing in three events out here this weekend, trying to chase a record out here in the next games. We'll dive more into that in a bit. 
Let me get you to walk that plank. How do you, how do you think this is going to all pan out? Oh. I mean, that's a big talking point. Alex Hall with a chance to win three events coming up. A big result last year. But he's got to compete against Colby Stevenson, who's not going to let it go. Henrik Carlo, Matei, Jesper. So much talent in this field from all over the world. There you see using the skis the whole way across. Reaches back. Oh, pushes that grab out. Colby Stevenson, just so fun to watch. Skis so fluidly and so fast. So Colby got the win in 2020 here in Aspen. It was Alex Hall's win in 2020 in Norway. Henrik Harlow, 2021 here. And then Quinn Wolferman last year comes Matej Sponsor. This year is his second X Games appearance. Oh, Matej. The end of that trick looked crazy he does that nose butter double court 10 but at the end take a look at this in slow-mo you see him grabbing so far on the ski i think he's trying to land switch there and just has to spin that last 180. how does he ride that out I, that's what i was wondering at real time speed it looked like he was going to go down and, and then you look at that on the replay that's like wow i mean that was impressive four minutes to go here by the time Mr. Shatter hits the knuckle. <laughs> Jesper on his side, just rolling his way across that knuckle. I mean, he's having a heck of a session out here as well tonight. I think we got to call that the worm turn. He really lays it down, goes full belly side down, and then wraps it up into a 900. I mean, just using the knuckle in a different way, getting the body down on it. Just so casual. Just another day in the office for Jesper. Here comes Alex Hackle, the Boston, Massachusetts. Just under three and a half minutes to go here. Oh, wrapped up there, so smooth. There is no more room at the bottom of this course. It is a packed house all the way back to the end at Aspen. Yeah, that the whole landing has got divots in it from all of these massive tricks. So we are marching towards the three minute mark here at the Chipotle Ski Knuckle Hub, taking another look at Henry Carlo, putting down another stylish run here. It's just so smooth. You look at his feet. His feet are together on that whole rotation. Henrik is just, Henrik's your favorite skier's favorite skier, and he's showing why with all of his moves tonight. Alex Hall sideways across that knuckle. It's rapid fire. Things are happening. These these tricks that these athletes are doing, they don't even realistically have names. We go with Quinn Wolferman coming down to the two minute mark. Oh, go for that double again. Off the tails, almost ends up in a double rodeo rotation. That one was really close to putting it to his feet. Just spinning a little too much out of that. So we're getting down to the final round of runs here at Chipotle Ski Knucklehawk. If you look at that angle right there, that gives you an appreciation for the enormity, the size and scope of this landing here in this event. With a little bit of time left on the jam clock, it looks like this will be the last round of runs. So we started off once again with Yuna Kungus. Remember, no scores, no rankings. It's just one winner, and we get the big reveal at the end when it's all said and done. Overall impression, judges looking for variety, different tricks, different uses of the knuckle. And there, Yuna just wrapping it up, spinning so fast, but not making it look uncomfortable, making it look so smooth, not just wrapped up, but also capping that grab. There you go. We're going to get down to the one minute mark here. So when the jam session clock runs out, we will finish out the run order. And look at Colby Stevenson. Just, I mean, I wish we could hear the conversations and see the note taking that's going on in that judge's booth right now. I, I just want to hear them talking at the top. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to spin a 900 out of that, a 720, you're going to double court, single court with? 
What are we doing? Look at this. Reaches for the off safety, just blasting down that landing. Oh, I mean, and the smiles. Look at these athletes so having good. so much fun riding together. That's what free ski and snowboard are all about. That energy is just transferred into the crowd down there. I mean, this is a packed house. I mean, look how many people are down there at both venues right now watching this as we take one last look here at Matei's sponsor, sending it deep. That's what Matei wanted. He wanted to do that nose butter double and stop the rotation at 900, using his body to stop the switch. Wow. He's still in high school, by the way. I mean, all these runs keep coming so fast. We haven't really had time to tell a lot of stories between each one of these hits, but he's still in high school, and he's had to concentrate more on school than skiing this fall, and has had less time on the snow than most of the field out here. But speaking of snow, it continues to fall harder as we get deeper into the run order here. This is Sweden's Jesper Shatter in for his final attempt. Oh, <laughs> Jesper one-footed sort of a backslide across the knuckle. I mean, Jesper's in contention this year. He's got definitely the biggest, most circus, most crazy tricks those two double flips true over the top the body slide that one footer such variety i mean one of my favorites and and i gotta think judges love that too hard pressed to say he doesn't have a chance at the gold medal. a couple of runs from finding out what the judges think of our session out here at chipotle ski knuckle hook this is alex hackle for his final attempt Another smooth one, Alex Hackle. You can tell having so much fun. Already has some X Games medals from the X Game Real Ski Series. But here in Aspen, showing up for the fans, you see the signs in the crowd cheering for him. Tucked up, so smooth. I love the way he's got the maitre d sort of hand there, the way he's landing fluidly. Look at all those smiles. Everyone, I mean, we've said this several times during this event, but I mean, it's worth repeating. I mean, everyone is just having a blast. You don't see the looks of pressure. Everyone's just out here having a blast, having a great time. I love this event. Yeah. And it's it's just gotten better every single year. Three skiers left to go. This is Henrik Harlow. Look how oh, he sends it. Henrik is definitely in the running, too. He's been doing some really good variety. The double cork, the unique butters. Having a bit of trouble standing up there. I hope he's OK. It looked like he wanted to go for that tail tail butter double cork to, to back up the nose butter version, which would have him really hard pressed to say he wasn't going to win this event again. But still an amazing session for Henrik. Hey, look at him. Maybe the smile on his face after that fall. Just getting up and chatting over with the fellas down there in the athlete staging area. Two skiers left to go here, Tom. Alex Hall. Oh, Alex Hall across the entire flat part of that jump on his side that ends up corked out as he airs down the landing. This one looks fun. You can see sliding sideways, lifts the skis fully up. I mean, he's he's basically boogie boarding his way across this knuckle. Just hip sliding off the roller there. And lands it, of course. Alex Hall's always putting his feet down underneath him. So we have one skier left to go. They're all gonna stand down there at the bottom of the jump and await the big reveal. He happens to be your defending gold medalist from this event. Last year, it's Montana's Quinn Wolferman. Let's see if Quinn can land that double out. He's been diving forward, gets, oh! Doesn't quite get the pop, so wanted to do that double rodeo off the tails. Just has a fail out of it, but still an impressive showing for Quinn, who we know looks forward to this event. He came out winning it last year, always ready to try something new and crazy. So there, just misses on that left ski, and then you see him just fail out of the double flip, do a seven, brings it around to his feet. Better safe than sorry on that one. So this is that big moment we've been talking about. We don't have any rankings. We don't know any scores. We don't know, even we don't know in the booth. Yes, we have a scoring monitor, but we have no information as to where the judges' heads are right now. So it's as, a, as big of a surprise to us as it is to our viewing audience. But that's kind of, you know, part of the, the fun element of this event. It's just that big reveal at the end. And, 
I mean, you just never know, and there's such a different way to judge it. But look at this collection of skiers. Oh! And is that it? Oh, my goodness! Jasper Shatter! You know what that means? We have yet a different winner in the history of Ski Knucklehawk here at the X Games. Five times it's been contested. Five times we've had a different outcome. Jesper was sending it tonight. He came to play, and the big highlights include those super unique, upside down, fully acrobatic, diving forward on the double front flip with the Pirani out. I mean, just catapulting down that landing, did the switch double backflip, had too much variety, and just walks away with the win. Well, speaking of the win, let's send it down to DC with our winner right now. Well, Jesper Shatter, congratulations. Long time coming. The payoff is here going gold, my friend. What's going through your head right now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, can't believe it. This is your first X Games medal in 16 starts here at X Games, man. How are you, how are you feeling right now? What is going through your head, brother? Uh, it feels unreal. I, I don't have any words. So stoked. Thank well, you. your creativity, what you put out, the content you put out, the love you show for what you do, man. You inspire so many people around the world. And I uh, just want to say congratulations and thank you for everything that you do. Long time coming. Well deserved. Thank you. Thank you. That's a crazy stat right there, his first X Games medal. He finished second in Norway in 2020, but in this event, it's only it's only one award. It's just the gold that goes out, but he finally tastes victory here in 2023, Tom. And in case so you missed it, we're going to take a look at some highlights here from Chipotle Ski Knucklehawk. Amazing highlights, all sorts of different tricks, butters, creative, rolls, the most fun event in skiing. Well, a big congratulations to Jesper Chatter taking home a well-deserved gold from Chipotle Ski Knucklehawk.